Hundreds of clinical trial sites in Europe have taken part in COMBACT studies. COMBACT has enrolled almost 9,000 patients. It would have been very difficult to conduct such a trial without the COMBACT network. Antimicrobial resistance is a serious threat to human health all over the world. Infections with resistant bacteria kill hundreds of thousands of people every year. They also add millions and millions of euros to the cost of delivering healthcare. We need new antibiotics and other new approaches, but developing and testing those has become extremely difficult, time-consuming and very costly. Through the Innovative Medicines Initiative, Europe has taken action to lower the hurdles for new antibiotics. IMI is a public-private partnership. We have launched a program called New Drug for Bad Bugs. With a budget of over 600 million euros, we are tackling some of the biggest challenges in drug development, from early discovery and clinical studies to new business models. The Comeback projects are a key part of that program. They have a crucial task to create a framework for conducting high-quality clinical studies, especially where patient and site selection are difficult. COMBACTE stands for uh, Combating Bacteria Resistance in Europe. Uh, it's intended to be a lasting network of uh, investigators from these different academic and ho uh, university hospitals across Europe, associated with the industry, uh, and particularly from areas or countries where antimicrobial resistance is a big problem. Combacta will try to uh, provide the relevant information about the epidemiology of resistance across Europe and on top of that try to uh, provide the, the network needed to perform clinical studies to develop new drugs to really address the problem of resistance. Besides building networks, Combact has another key task. The Combact was envisioned to bring together academics as well as experts from the biopharmaceutical industry to work together. My experience is that it always yields to something much better when you make people come out of their comfort zone and uh, uh, because what happens is that uh, in, in a partnership like Combact, uh, different individuals bring their individual strengths to the table. What a public-private partnership brings is shared risk in, uh, in, in the development of antibiotics and also shared knowledge and expertise which would help um, those collaborations to bring new treatments, uh, be they therapeutics or, or um, preventative therapies to, to address the issue of drug-resistant infections. Combact took off in 2013. Today, five years on, it has accomplished a lot. Four quality certified networks now serve as pillars under a strong foundation. On that foundation, four projects were built. Combact Net to improve clinical trials for antibiotics, Combact Care targeting carbapenem resistant infections, Combact Magnet focusing on gram negative bacteria, and Combact CDI to address resistant strains of Clostridium difficile. The progress of Combact can be illustrated by impressive numbers. As of today, our network includes about 900 potential clinical trial sites in about 40 European countries. From Norway all the way down to Portugal and from the United Kingdom all the way eastwards to Serbia and Bulgaria. Hundreds of clinical trial sites in Europe have taken part in COMBACT studies as of now. COMBACT's epidemiology network pooled data on more than 10 million strains of bacteria from labs all across Europe. Many of those labs are now part of the network. So far, 657 diagnostic microbiology labs in 41 countries have participated in close to 20 clinical trials. At the same time, statisticians discovered new ways to make clinical trials less time-consuming and more cost-effective. We should be able to much more rapidly select the sites, but also we should be able to complete the trial much faster, which means that for pharma, there's a huge cost saving of doing a clinical trial in a well-established clinical trial network. A growing compact has convinced hospitals and laboratories all over Europe that contributing to the network helps them just as well. For our hospital uh, and for me, this is an opportunity to interchange with the principal investigator in this field in, in a, an international way 
and this is also a, a principal interest because this investigation is in the front line of uh, the fight against antimicrobial resistance. For Spain it's very important because uh, this is an opportunity to work with the high level uh, research in the world. Combact is filling a pipeline of studies into novel approaches and drugs. At this point, three clinical trials have completed patient enrollment and unique data from those trials is being analyzed as we speak. Five clinical studies are currently busy recruiting patients. Eleven more trials are being prepared or have been scheduled. Between interventional trials and epidemiology studies, Combact has enrolled almost 9,000 patients and several more thousands are anticipated to be enrolled over the next several years. Now that these studies are collecting data and now we're beginning to complete the analysis, now I think we're looking at a steady stream of data. We have several studies that will be published uh, uh, this year in uh, 2018 and many, many more expected over the next several years. Both large and small industry partners are seeing how joining Combact can help them move forward. In uh, 2016, we needed to identify a patient group that is most at risk of developing Clostridium difficile infections. We needed to recruit 1,000 patients. That is very challenging and Combact was the perfect match because it offered wide network of clinical sites. The collaboration with Combact went pretty smoothly. We were able to uh, complete the recruitment in just over a year. Um, it would have been very difficult to conduct such a trial in so many good sites and so quickly without a Combact network. Five years ago, Combact began. Since then, great things have been achieved but the job is far from finished. We can never completely eradicate antibiotic resistance because when, when we have bacteria, we'll also have bacteria that are resistant to antibiotics. I believe that Combat really represents the ideal way of how we should be developing novel compounds, especially in challenging and difficult to enroll populations. Combat uh, was thought from the very beginning to be something which will last and will not just end when the funding is finishing for the next year. So. Uh, this big effort clearly should continue over the time and we are committed to do that.